I just got done editing a long video, and you know what I haven't done in a while? A mail call. So, let's take a look at what I've been buying recently from the Facebook groups that I'm in. Let's start off with this back corner. So, these are some clad coins. So there's a Mexico lot that I won. It's a 1952 one centavo. It's kind of corroding, but that's okay. Got an Ecuadorian 10 centavos from 1946. Nice condition. And I got a 5 centavos as well from 1946. Oops. And I got a one centavo from Mexico from 1911. Pretty dark, but fantastic details. And this one was kind of fun, 1937 Ecuadorian 20 centavos. I may have something like this in a better condition, but uh, for the most part this group was, I got it for dollar plus shipping. Because I bought it from the same person. 37 20 centavos. Ecuador. And this one is Brazil. No, sorry. Peru, 1945. 20 centavos there. Back to Ecuador again, 1937. One Sucre. Or Suca. Looks like we got another one of those. And back to Peru, we got a half Sol de Oro from 1944. It's a nice piece. In Mexico, 1952, this is a large five centavos. Great details there. Got another one from 43. They shrunk these down in, I think, 55. And then a 44, 20 centavos. We know I have better condition ones of these. And then a Great Britain, one penny. From 1903. Not bad. So all that was about a buck. And then I got some silver from the same seller. And I was going for a couple lots of silver, but I stuck to my guns on the ones that I needed. So, 25 centavos from 1952. That is 30% silver. Great Britain. Got George V. One shilling, 1935. That's 50% silver. Mexico, 1950, 50 centavos. I do not have an example of this until now. This is 30% silver. Let's back up a bit. So another George V. This one's a half crown from 1928. And this is also 50% silver. And then the 1947 one peso is 50% silver from Mexico. I won this one from Penny Haven on the TAC group. Got it for Melt. I'm pretty happy with that. 1960 one franc, or five francs, sorry. I didn't have this example in my collection, so I was quite happy to get it. I have the one franc and the two franc, but not the five. Now I do. Another one I didn't have in my collection was this Canadian 50 cents from 1967. A commemorative 100th anniversary of Canada. Some frosty details, but a lot of milk spotting. But, I love that cartwheel. Alright, so this last one was kind of cool. Uh, as a bonus, the seller gave me this 2003D Kennedy half. 
These are not intended for circulation. So that adds a little bit of a premium there. I also got this pretty beat up. This was the bulk of the money for that lot. The five marks from 1898. <laughs> this is von Wutenberg, Wilhelm II. So yeah, it's pretty beat up. It's got a nice chip out of the top. Looks like somebody tried to make it into a pendant. But that is 90% silver, my friends. And then we go to the hyperinflation money. So this was 1923. Fünf million mark. Million mark. So, five million marks. Pretty cool. Decent serial number there. Not too much artwork. But issued in August 1923. The hyperinflation ended in, I think, November 1923. So, this is towards the peak. Alright guys, well thanks for joining me on my journey of getting basically one of everything. And that's what I'm going for with my coins. So I got a lot of unique ones that I don't have yet. And I did get a lot of ones that I'll probably be tossing into those uh, buckets of coins that I have for sale on my store. So check out my store. It's uh, down in the link below. I update it every time I get more coins that I am willing to sell. So keep on checking back if you have already bought. Thank you. Thank you for your support. All the proceeds go towards me getting more coins to supply that store again. So, thanks. This has been Brad and My World Coins. We'll see you next time.